Hum. Recipe for disaster. Yeah, okay, I'm not really doing anything else. I'll give it a shot. First ingredient, cuteness. All right, there we go. Cuteness. Then sassiness. Okay, put a little bit of sassiness in there. That's good. Next ingredient, perfection. Okay. Let's do a little bit of perfection. All right. And the last ingredient, boing. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, that's, that's too much. You know what? It's fine. Okay, now we mix everything together. And uh, now we wait. Oh, there it is. The disaster. My little disaster is back. <laughs> Hi, hello, hey, welcome back to another video. <laughs> that was so awkward. So, are you guys excited to have a little Babette back in the video? Ta da! She back. So today is all about my starfish Patrick because he got into some trouble and what like this happened. Oh my god, Patrick! Patrick scared me to death a few days ago. For those of you who don't know who Patrick is, Patrick is my orange sea star. So I have two in that nano aquarium. So Patrick is the bigger one and Peach is the little smaller one. So I named him Patrick because of, you know, SpongeBob SquarePants. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. And then the other one's named Peach because of Finding Nemo. It's morning, everyone. Today's the day. The sun is shining, the tank is clean, and we are getting out of <gasps> The tank is clean. So that's the origin of the names, which you guys didn't ask for or probably care about, but I still gave them to y'all. So in this video, I showed you guys how I do a water change in that aquarium and how I feed them. So that's been like the same feeding routine that I've followed uh, pretty much for around a year. Nothing has ever happened. Like, it's routine. So, look. Ugh. So I fed the aquarium like I usually do. I chop off some frozen fish, thaw it out, feed it to them. You know, the usual. But a couple hours later, I walked by the aquarium and noticed freaking Patrick like stuck up the filter intake tube. And these are the words that come out of my mouth. Oh my god, Patrick, what's wrong with you, baby? Mama's coming. So the first thing I did was turn off the filter, obviously, so that it would stop suctioning him in. So here's what happened. Okay, so here's what's happening. I pulled this filter tube apart and Patrick's arm is just completely sucked in into these little openings where water is supposed to be sucked in. Yeah, his arm is all the way up there. I'm trying to push him out with this pen but yeah it's it's not working and i really don't want to hurt him so we're gonna try something else i'm trying to pull on him to see if maybe i can wiggle him free but yeah it's not really working and uh, i'm scared of his arm detaching and i'd rather his arm not detached okay so now i have these pliers and what i plan to do is cut open these little slits more so cut like a really big hole out and then slide his arm out and hopefully his arm is okay and he won't lose it i 
I know I'm shaking, I'm sorry, but like I'm really worried, I'm nervous, and I'm scared of hurting him with the pliers. I don't want to cut him, and I don't, I don't want to like put too much pressure on the little slits and like hurt him. And like I'm nervous, I think I already said that, like this is just not a good situation for me, I'm not okay. Damn it, Patrick, why are you making me do this? <sighs> okay, so I made the cuts, but I can't open up the plastic. So I'm taking these tweezers now, and hopefully they will give me more control, and I'll be able to pull it apart. Because the flyers are just a little bit too chunky, and they're just not fitting in there. Finally! So it looks like the opening is big enough and yeah, he's free. He should be free now. Yeah. Ooh, that left a mark. I don't know if he's gonna be able to keep the arm. I don't know. We'll have to put him in water and see how he does. And there's little Sylvester. Sylvester knows something's happening. <laughs> He's like, yo, human, I'm missing one of the starfish. Where they at? All right, there you go, Patrick. Can you like stay out of trouble now? Like, is that something you think you can do for me? <sighs> so, uh, he looks stressed, like hella stressed. Like he's not, he's even like pale in color. And, oh look, so he's pulling out his feet. Those little tubes under him, those are all feet. And he is pulling them out. And he looks like he has function to the feet in that arm, because they are moving. So yeah, he has, he has feeling. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna be okay. The arm's gonna be fine. He's not gonna be a four-armed star, which if he were, like, he would still be handsome, okay? And if you're wondering where Peach is at, Peach is being a good girl, okay? She's over here minding her own business, munching on her fish, but nah, Patrick wants to be the little daredevil and get stuck in the filter intake tube. And Sylvester right here, ah, he's just a way to puff her fish full of love and food. <laughs> so yeah. Ernie, not right now, boo. So a few of you guys have actually recently reached out wondering how I keep my sea stars in that nano aquarium alive and well. And uh, it's Ernie, stop. Damn it, Ernie. So I'm gonna give you guys some info on sea stars in case any. Damn it, Ernie. Maybe that'll help you guys just. Damn it, Ernie. Maybe that will help you guys out in... Damn it, Ernie! Maybe that will help you guys that are wondering about them out. Damn it, Ernie! He's, he's gonna do this the entire video now. <laughs> Damn it, Ernie! That, Ernie, stop! Ernie! <laughs> I have got to move. Stop! <laughs> You know, I should probably not keep birds in the same room where I film. That probably was not the wisest decision I've made. I, I need to... 
move them into another part of the house. <laughs> Damn it, Ernie! I actually do have some facts about sea stars that you probably didn't know before watching this video. But after the video, you're gonna be like, wow, well, that's really interesting. I'm glad I clicked on this video. I'm gonna subscribe and turn on my notifications. <laughs> First of all, did you guys know that sea stars don't have a brain? How are they even animals? How are they even alive? The world may never know. So let's settle this sea star, starfish feud once and for all. Sea star starfish which is correct but despite the fact that a lot of people refer to them as starfish the proper common name to call them is sea star because they're not a fish so their scientific name is asteroidea which reminds me of the word asteroid but the thing is that asteroids aren't stars they are big rocks that float in space and orbit the sun. But I think there is a connection to asteroids and sea stars. Keep listening. So asteroids are big space rocks, right? But say they collide with something and a chunk of an asteroid breaks off. So those smaller chunks are actually called meteoroids. But wait there's more. When a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, it begins to burn up as it falls and it leaves behind a big trail of fire and smoke and that is actually what we call shooting stars. So an asteroid becomes a meteor and then these meteoroids that enter the atmosphere are shooting stars to us. So you guys get that connection? Shooting stars? asteroids am i crazy here am i overthinking <laughs> i actually don't know if that's the reason why their scientific name is asteroidea maybe i should have googled this anyways moving on the most interesting thing about sea stars to me is that they can regenerate when i hear the word regeneration i think of the doctor and the tardis and dalles Whovian. anybody else so yes, sea stars are known for being able to regenerate arms and in some cases entire bodies. So they accomplish this because they actually house a lot of their vital organs in each arm. So for example, if I lost my arm, oh look at all that blood, oh my arm's gonna die off, what? However, could it regenerate? Let's say I housed most of my vital organs in my arms, which is really creepy, but okay, we're pretending. <laughs> but because there's all these vital organs completely safe and okay, Ernie, can you stop? So what this arm does is just start growing a new body for the arm. And that's how that would work. You can't even see him, he's so dark in the background, it's dark. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him over to another room while I finish filming, cause I, like, he's not letting me film this. So say bye, Ernie, and excuse yourself for so many interruptions. So when they reproduce, they can reproduce sexually by releasing sperm and eggs into the water or asexually via regeneration. So with some species of starfish, you can break off an arm and that arm will grow a whole new body while the rest of the body just regenerates the arm. And just like that, you got two starfish. That's cray cray. So from one starfish, you now have two starfish. And from two, you can have four. And from four, you can have eight. And from eight, you can have 16. And from 16, you can have a thousand. Like how have they not yet taken over the world? Well, it's probably because they don't have brains. But that is actually the reason why there's so many starfish in the world. There's actually around 2,000 species of starfish. There is starfish with five arms. There's starfish with 10 arms, with 20 arms. There's even starfish species with up to 40 arms. That's cray cray. Man, I am just geeking out about starfish to you guys today. <laughs> they are fascinating animals, okay? So yeah, I do have more starfish stuff starfish facts interesting things about starfish but i'm 
I'm gonna end the video here because it's gonna get long and then it's gonna take forever to edit and get it out. And the whole point of this is to just film a quick video and get a video out for you guys because you guys want videos more often and if it takes me forever to edit them because they're super long, then that's de that defeats the purpose of more videos more often. So we're gonna end the video here. So if you guys would like a part two on sea stars and stuff about them, let me know down below so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel then what is wrong with you do that and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you get a notification every time i upload a new video and i'm talking really really fast because i want to end the video so i will talk to you guys in the next time love you guys bye You done? Da 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 Start spreading the news I'm leaving today New York Shut up! <laughs> Don't bite me, child We're still working on that taming, right? But hey, we've made progress. I'm holding him, he's letting me. <laughs> bless you, baby. My dog just sneezed. Max, tell him bless you. <laughs> I expect a bunch of comments in the comment section that say, bless you, Max, which, which he sneezed, Max sneezed. <laughs> When I stand this close to the camera, it looks like I'm naked. Birthday suit, a. <laughs> I'm dressed. <laughs> My cat. She's like, something's wrong with the human. Okay, bye. Ow. Oh. <laughs>